This is a complete walkthrough from scratch for how to set up Quest Pro and also work on other Quest as well to using Unreal Engine 5.1.1 and to doing the VR project. So I start from the beginning and since I was looking online, there's no proper tutorial for teaching how to set up from the beginning. So I've spent like three days to to get across how to do this. So I put a zip file contain all the software you will need and that will, that will be in the link below. So at the beginning I set up a completely VR project and as an empty project and then I start installing the Android, Android Studio and just follow through the default settings and you will get in through this page and Normally, you should put in the C disk, which is really helpful for Unreal Engine to find where the um, SDK is. So now the Unreal Engine opened the project, and we need to set up the SDK number. So this is really crucial because when you go into this SDK manager, you are looking at lots of APKs and and levels specific for Oculus Quest and for Quest Pro as well. So we need to have 30 and 29 and 21 and 19. Just follow the on the video. In terms of SDK tools, you need to open this expansion and you don't really need um, 30.01 and 30.00 and 30.32. So I'm going to put another um, screen grab on the side for you. You don't need some of them. So, but in NDK, you will need the 25.1.8, blah, blah, blah. And also some other, for example, 21.4 and 21.6. And also we will need the command line tools. I just click all of them. And also say make, you will need to have 3.18 and 3.10. And that's pretty much it. You don't have to have Android this one. I'm, I'm doing it now. So you don't have to choose um, this one. So don't choose this one. And yeah. And then just you just can go through the next step. And uh, that's pretty much it. So follow on and then we'll start the installation and do all the exceptions to all the agreement. And then just wait. And um, that will take a while for installing. So in the meanwhile, we need to install this um, MetaQuest hub, which is really useful for um, doing the debugging and also development. Make sure you choose this AC, um, um, ADB to the same folder as the Android um, Studio. And then you just need to connect the device. So on the on a Quest, you will need to enter in the development mode. And first time you need to connect a valve cable, that's probably will be the best. And now I'm connecting with the cable and you need to access, make sure your access to the computer and you have right. And also you need to click on this ADB on Wi-Fi, so you'll be able to un un unconnect the cable, and then you can debug and also send in program um, while Wi-Fi without the cable connecting um, to the device. So mm -hmm. now that's all set up, and somehow my casting isn't working, mm -hmm. so um, I don't know why. But mm -hmm. in the meanwhile, you want to install this Java. So this Java is specific version I found is is working. So just download from the link, and that would be it there. So just install into default location again in C disk, and then just sort of remember where you install all of them because you will need the directory all of them later. So now the Android Studio finished with all the versions. Just double check you will have all this. Um, versions in your installations and then the most important thing is to change the environment so typing environment and changing this um, variables 
and just type typing as what I was typing. And some of them may not useful, but I just put up, put them all in just in case, because I've experimented this on my PC, it's working, and this is on my laptop, and I just and set up from scratch, so it was working, and that's why I'm showing this walkthrough videos, because um since Quest Pro released for like almost five months, nobody really working having a t video tutorial on how to set up um, Quest Pro to running on the Unreal 5.1.1. So I like to share this and also just give myself a reminder how I did it. And yeah, just for someone who want to do the similar things. And this also works on the Quest as well. So you might want to follow this if you're doing Quest development so there are three ways you can open this. So I'm going to show individually later. So after this environment being set it up, um, I'm going to back in Unreal to set up in Unreal as a project setting. So in project settings, you need to go to Android um, SDK. So just find that Android Studio location and put that in and also find that NDK start with 25 and also taking this and JDK, which is just installed And in SDK API, you want to say latest on the below, you are changing that to 25. And in this settings, we change this to 29 and 30 and take out some boxes and just copy what I'm, what the settings I have and accept that the, and, and taking all the boxes and taking the license and change the name for the project. And then yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, that's all you set for getting the Unreal Engine working. So now you see it's like a gray icon. But you, when you when you click the refresh platform, you will see it become blue icon. So now you'll be able to pack the package um, into the. Oh, you can do update, but not necessarily. So you can now start packaging this. Um, thing into your quest um, but sometimes you find a bit problem with first time you're running this and you're trying to install this on a quest it doesn't work so you just do um, another way which is doing the package first and as what I did and then you can install this using that um, meta quest um, hub and yeah, now I'm doing the, the packaging. I'm just saving um, this project API into one of the folders. And then once that packaging is finished, you, you just drag that API straight into another, the other um, program on the top right. So once you open this and you can literally drag and drop this API file into that program that will start installing. So once it's installed, you'll be able to open this in the quest. So now I'm going to go into the quest. So now that application is showing in unknown sources. So now you'll be able to open this. So that's how you build at the first time. Once you build the first time, you'll be able to straight running um, Unreal inside the quest without doing this package um, stage. So now I'm just testing if it's working and so now I'm closing this. As you can see, the software has been closed and now you'll be able to straight go into the platform using platform and go the quick start. And that will trigger the quest. This is the second way to doing this. So now you're in quest. But uh, once that um, triggered, you will automatically start running. Now you start running from the Unreal straight away rather than 
saving the package and doing installations that will, that will all do it for you. So, but the only problem is once you finish running this, you're not saving these applications. So you're only using Quest to do a test run. So it's almost exactly the same. You can start testing this inside and so you can do whatever you want with it basically it's a, exactly the same process so there's another way you can run in using quest um as a as a rift so rely on steam vr so now i'm i'm closing this and actually you need to install oculus app already installed it so i just open it and you need to log in with your facebook account again and then and then you well lots of updates and then you actually essentially you're running this as a, a pc vr so what I did, I did a link cable at the beginning and then I did air link and connect to my Oculus, to my laptop. And then I need to open SteamVR. Oh, quite important is you need to click this open XR runtime in, in the Oculus software. So now you're going to SteamVR and you will be able to see this quest as a PC VR is like a rift. So you need to go into quest and go into quest link, go into link mode. First time you need to connect your PC or your laptop and just make sure you're connecting to each other and entering into the link mode. So now I'm doing the linking, just waiting the computer and um, getting the code. So once you get both get the code, you will be able to connect to each other. Make sure you are not um, you're on the same Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi is quite stable as well. So also you can do with with the cable as well in the same link mode. So now restart the Steam VR. You're entering this uh, Rift um, mode, so you'll be able to enter in the Steam VR straight away. So now if you're going back to Unreal Engine, there will be one more options in the platform or in the running. And you know, um, this folder and refresh the platform, that VR preview is, is in gray. You need to restart the Unreal Engine and the editor. So now I need to restart this engine. I just, before I start, I just save and restart the, this project again. Once I open the project, I'll be able to view this inside the VR. So that essentially this Quest Pro is act as a PC VR. Um, the benefit is you using graphic cards rather than the, the device itself. So but you won't be able to like uh, doing package or, or just build these things onto the Quest. So you will rely on using laptop or something to build the app, but it's a good way for testing the app. Well, that's pretty much it. That's the three way and to running Unreal Engine 5.1.1 on the Quest Pro. But I believe this is exactly the same working pipeline for Quest as well. So thank you for watching and I'll put some important screen grab at the very end of the video. So if you think this is useful, just give me a thumbs up and see you maybe next time if I face any difficult problems, I'll show and share with everyone. Cool. Bye now.